So after years of planning, the World Cup is finally coming to Qatar, and I'm going to give you my final prediction of this year's tournament to see who will go all the way and lift this trophy at the end of the campaign. We're going to take a look at it, all of it, next! <laughs> That's right, folks. Problems game with that. Of course, my final World Cup predictions ending into Qatar 2022. Of course, we'll predict all the way through the groups, into the knockout stages, all the way through to the final. Let's see who will go the distance and lift up that special bling at the end of the campaign. We'll take a look at all of it in a second. If you're new, though, where you've been, smash your subscribe, bang up to all things Scottish football related, Blab and Rose related, World Cup related. We've got it all here, boys, and bloody hell, do we have it here? We've got fan chats, we've got Cast the Cat, we've got my own predictions, we've got watch longs, previews, reviews, reactions, all of it. All of it, you won't miss a beat, boys. We even have a daily phone-in show, so make sure you check that out. Starting on the 20th of November, you could be on the show with me, chatting all shit about the World Cup, and even chatting all shit about anything, anything you like. Daily World Cup content right here at Black Monroe's. Don't miss a beat. But anyway, we are going to go straight in the deep end now and have a little look at what we're talking about. We're talking about this, of course, and it is the World Cup predictor. We're going to do it. It's via Eurosport. The other one, I start, they, they start to charge me. I've been there so many times, of course, but we're going to do this. Maybe even zoom in a little bit and take a closer look at it. So Group A does have Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal and the Netherlands. It is a very, very difficult group. A lot of these groups are easy peasy, some of them, you, you, you just know. But Group A for me is a, is, a, is a mystery. I don't know much about Ecuador. I don't know what Qatar are going to be like in front of the home fans. Uh, and of course, Senegal, African champions, of course, Netherlands as well. So I don't really know. I, I have been backing the Dutch throughout. Uh, but I think I think Ecuador are going to be dog shit. I think it'll be a bit of a letdown uh, in this. I think Qatar could actually sneak second spot here. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for that. And I'm going to go against the grain. Senegal. We don't know about Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane is a big, big part of uh, Senegal football right now. They're facing the place. Without him, they're a much different side. And that can be said with a lot of clubs around, a lot of nations here. Look at um, look at Korea with, with Son Yeo Min. I don't think he's going to be available, which, of course, is going to dam damage their hopes in the first game, which, of course, is going to cost them some points. Into Group B. I do think England will come out on top on this one. And then the second place is wide open and literally is wide open. And I think uh, the USA and the Welsh are going to be the benefits of the... Or they're going to be the, 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 the guys who bring themselves down in this one. I just think the Iranians are going to sneak in here and take second spot, which will open up a can of worms. I actually think the USA will overpower the Welsh uh, to finish better off because I think the Welsh with Bale hasn't played much football recently. I know he's got a bit of a bat Bobby Dazzler uh, for uh, LA, LAFC in the MLS final, but he hasn't really played much for them. Neither is Aaron Ramsey. And I know they're more than that these days. There was a lot of faces to it. I just feel the Americans will be a little bit more fit, a little bit hungry, and of course, maybe get themselves their appetite ready for their own World Cup. Into Group C we go then. I do think it's uh, it's going to be Argentina quite comfortably. Uh, I do think Saudi Arabia are going to fall short. Uh, and then I'm going to go with Mexico over Poland, of course, without Lewandowski. Fine. Lewandowski's there, but just will he show up? Will he show up for this one? I don't know. Uh, let's move move over to Group D. Uh, we do have the Frenchies, which I think are going to go into second spot here. I do think the Danes will come out on top. Uh, and then, I, I don't know, I think maybe Tunisia with, with the, the geographical familiarity with the terrain and the environment and the temperatures, I think they'll be uh, pretty much uh, uh, more prepared than Australia, even though they, they, they know what it is. Uh, it's a Group E we go. I'm going with my German hat on this one. I do think Spain will come out second. I think the Japanese will be in third, which will get you nothing, though. Fourth will be Costa Rica. I just think the likes of Joel Campbell. Still only 30, though. Brian Ruiz, there's a lot of age in that uh, Costa Rica team. Keller Navas, a great goalkeeper, still at his age. Uh, but there's too many uh, 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 old knees, I think, in that one. I think it could be said for Croatia as well. Uh, I'm going to go with Belgium here. I'm going to go Morocco, unfortunately, the bottom. I'm going to maybe go over another surprise with Canada uh, to outfox Croatia. A couple of... So all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I'm seeing I'm seeing kinks in the arm. I'm seeing kinks all over the place. The injuries, the, the just the... The, just the scheduling of this World Cup is causing all kind of chaos. Uh, so I just feel that um, that uh, some of these nations are coming in here walking wounded. You know what I mean? And, and, and Croatia with a lot of age as well in the midfield. They do have a lot of exciting talent up the top end of the field for, for a change. But um, I just think uh, they're not going to... I think Canada coming in here hungry, coming in here hot. I think their coach is doing a fantastic job. If they can get out of the knockout stages from this group, then that's a win-win for them heading into 2026 as well. Into Group G, I do see Brazil top in this one. I do think... 
Cameroon will be bottom. It is a shootout between these two. I'm going to go Serbia uh, at the moment. The Swiss, uh, maybe. I don't know. There's, uh, do they have a... They've got Brilan Bolo up top. You know, if he's not firing, you know, they do have some other creativity in there, hardworking, but I, I, I don't know. It's, it is so, it's, it's like paper thin. It is paper thin, but Serbia's attack is just crazy. Uh, and uh, they could, they could actually cause a lot of the problems going into this. Now, this is where the real shock is coming actually here. I think Portugal going into third here. They, they, Ronaldo's coming here with all kinds of batshit. He's just done the wrong thing at the wrong time uh, with his shit at Manchester United, causing chaos. A bit of friction, maybe, even with Fernandez. There's even some friction between himself and Cancelo. I just saw in some videos. So I think they're not going to make it. Uh, I think Ghana, unfortunately, we're not going to make it. And I do think Uruguay will be top bins. Korea will be second on this. Uh, and that's all because of Ronaldo. And I love Ronaldo. And, 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 and it's just... It's just, seems, it's just a horrible way to go. I, don't get me wrong. You know, he'll still be a key player for them. Um, and I'm sure they'll be trying to use him as, as strengths and get his numbers up there. But unfortunately, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, it's, it's all doom and gloom. Uh, so into the round 16 sets up some crackers, some uh, easy ones, I think. Uh, I think England are licking their lips already with my tie. We're going to start with, of course, the Netherlands against Iran. Uh, unfortunately, the Netherlands will be too strong for Iran in a straight out shootout, of course. Arsenal against France will be a Bobby Dazzler. It will be, but I do think Argentina over France at this stage will be just too good. Uh, Germany against Canada. Uh, yeah, I think Germany will go through. They'll progress. Canada will be okay. Happy with her getting through to the knockout stages. Uh, Brazil, Korea, once again, look at this. Sets up nicely for a quarter final, but Brazil are through as well. England against Qatar, the home the home nation. I think they'll be happy to get, get through the knockout stage, but England will be even happier with that state of the draw going through to the quarterfinals as well. The where they'll take on the Danes or, or Mexico. Uh, and this is a this is a tight one, but I do think Denmark look good right now. They look hungry, they look fresh, they look uh, they, they've got a purpose behind them, I think, uh, to set up a Bobby Dazza with England and Denmark in the quarters. Into the bottom end of the draw here, quite difficult one to call. I'm going to go with Belgium on this one uh, to beat Spain. I don't think their strikers is that good. I think they could be a bit boring, uh, and I think Belgium just have too much going on right now, even though they do have an aging defence. Uruguay against Serbia. Let's take a little look, a long hard look at this one then. This is another coin toss. It could go either way. Uh, um, and I just think Uruguay's expertise at this level, the shithousery, they've got a lot of guys who've been at this stage before, and I think they'll be happy to go again here. Uruguay ousting Serbia into the quarterfinals. Let's push on back to the top of the bracket in the quarterfinals where we have a couple of crackers, don't we? We actually have quite, we have four crackers uh, kicking all off with the Dutchies against Argentina, of course. Wow, do we go about this one? I just think uh, the Netherlands... I'd love to see them one day win it, but I, I just feel they're a little bit uh, weak up top. Memphis Depay, is he really the superstar that, that the Dutch make him out to be? Or that he's, him, himself makes it out to be? But I don't think so. I think Argentina with Messi will have uh, too much going on because uh, they are organised. Don't forget, we are. they're unbeaten run. Of course, they they, they, they did the finalisma. They, they beat Italy quite comfortably uh, and they're on a purpose right now. So Argentina look good at the moment. But what about this one? Germany against Brazil. Germany against Brazil. I'd love to see Germany go through to take an Argentina maybe even compete for the bling itself, but I just think Brazil have got it all to lose. What a semi-final we've got on our hands here. What a banger indeed. Kicking off forward, the English against the Danes. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I, I would probably, and I, I'm, not, I'm not an English man, as you can see, I'm wearing the Scottish shirt here, and I'm also German through and through, but I do think the English will oust the Danes to go through to another semi-final, which probably will extend Gareth Southgate's career as England manager, but who will they take on? I'm back in a Uruguayan here upset to go through to the semi-finals. Wow, what a shocker. I think the Belgian backline of defence will be uh, out picked apart by, by Nunez, Valverde, and of course, in pulling the strings in midfield. Uh, they've got a very, very tasty looking team with a couple of little weak spots, perhaps Uruguay, but they, of course, are going to take some stopping. We do have a South American semi-final, a repeat of the Copa America final. And of course, the top two sides in the uh, Coambial uh, qualification phase, Argentina against Brazil. Guess what? I'm going to back Argentina on this one, uh, upsetting the apple cart and going through to a final with Lionel Messi there. Where's Ronaldo? Nowhere to be seen. This could be an absolute settler. Uh, and at the moment, uh, I know England, the, the fans might not be happy with it, but they 
have got a simple a simple passage through to the final. But of course, standing in the way are Uruguay uh, with a very, very spicy looking attack. I just think England will have too much. They might even be boring in this game. It might be a, a, a one nil win for England, but they'll go through to the final where they'll take on Argentina. And I think at this stage, my, my, my gut, my gut is going with an Argentina victory here. Their first since 1986. It will be their first. One bam. Thank you, ma'am. Lionel Messi will finally uh, settle all debates, even question my own, and become the, not only the, the world champion, but the best player in the world. And that will be at the dispense of Cristiano Ronaldo and his shithousery that he's pulled off here at Manchester United. So, well done to Messi. Well done to Argentina. That's my hot take on, of course, the World Cup. But as, of course, we get closer to the games and the, and, the, and, the, and the knockouts, those opinions can change. We will have weekly match day predictions from all the games uh, predicting them. So, make sure you come and, come and join in. We've got, a, we've got a, 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 a prediction league where you can join in as well, see if you're right compared against me, against the other guys. Make sure you stop around for those. We have, at the moment, the group stages will be two uh, videos per round. So, so split A through D and E through H. So make sure you stick that out. Also, don't forget we have the phone in. We've got reactions. We've got watch alongs. We have the previews. We have fan chats. We've got cast. We are pouring out of our ears with content about the World Cup. So hopefully you're going to enjoy it right here on Live So make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, hit the little bell, and go again, guys. Check out the content and enjoy yourself.